Hey YouTube, this is Dirty OM. I'm here to do a video that somebody requested, um, and this was after I talked about what I've referred to as sexual assault, um, but mainly talked about um, cat calling and things like that. In my controversy talk, that ish bothers me. One of those videos, one of the first videos, if not the number, the very first video of that mini series that I did. Um, and after I made that video, somebody asked me, so if you don't like it when people, you know, obviously yell at you and stuff like that, um, that was basically the basis of the video, the fact that people, you know, um, you're walking down the street and you can't get down one block of the street without somebody whistling, making weird noises, being like, hey, 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 at you. So the person asked me, you know, if that's not how you like it, then, um, how would you want somebody to approach you? And when I'm making this video, I actually want to look at another comment that somebody said. And somebody said, you know, that's just the way guys are and you just got to get over it. And I, I think that that type of comment in response to anybody's opinion on anything is ridiculous. Um, you know, if, <laughs> if what, a hundred, less than a hundred years ago, um, like, 50% of the black people in America said to the other 50% of the black people who were like, hey, slavery is BS, I'm about tired of this crap, you know, white people should, start to, should stop treating us like dirt, blah, 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 and the other half of the black folks just said, that's just the way they are, you gotta get over it. I mean, I'm sure some people had to comfort people like that, like, you know, things probably won't change, I, I really hope they will, but... They might not change ever. They definitely probably won't change in my lifetime. But when you just say get over it and move on, like what type of response is that? So I, I just thought it was funny that somebody said that because I don't I don't accept it. And um, that's not how all guys are. That's a that's you shouldn't even say that because that's an insult to all guys, especially if there's some men who actually understand how to respect a woman. And then you go and say that's how guys are. That's not how all guys are. Um, if you were taught right, if somebody told you, hey, that's not right, and you actually listen, and if you actually do respect women, then that's, that's it's as simple as that, you know? It's as simple as knowing right from wrong. So I'm not going to just say, oh, well, whatever. Men will be men. It, it's ridiculous. I, I shouldn't have to settle because other people are too ignorant and too disrespectful to show proper manners. So, um... Back to the video, back to the main person's video, how I would want somebody to approach me is how I feel that anybody, any man or female would approach a man or female if they were going to be in a respectful, respectable manner. And um, in my video, I actually talked about how, I think I said a little bit about how when I was younger, I was very cold. And um, I don't know what started, but for some reason, I just always recognize the whole cat -y part of guys and the disrespectful side of guys and like the person said i i guess i kind of felt like all guys were like that so a guy could come up and be very very nice very polite to me and as soon as i saw a guy looking at me and looked like he's about to come over i was like oh no he's not and like that would be offense to me right off the bat like um if he was just like hey how are you doing i'd be like fine and it would be like he might not even be trying to holler at me and not trying to do anything. He might just be like, hey, I'm new to this town. Like, what's up? I mean, that wouldn't happen at, like, my school. But in, like, the mall or something, you know, in a store, if they did that, I'd be like, hey, like, don't talk to me, okay? So, but, but the funny thing is that I used to act so defensive when people did that simple stuff. But that's how I, people should approach, um people and maybe maybe as a young kid some of these boys who tried to talk to me are discouraged and now start disrespecting women because they were like well the nice way didn't work because that trick was crazy but I was a little crazy so it's not my fault it's not my fault I was young I didn't know you know it was good because if I hadn't been cold-hearted my life would be totally different you know um like, if I wasn't cold-hearted and if I actually had a cell phone where I could text people on, my life would be so different now than it is. Um, but I think that men and women should be able to approach each other. Just, you know, if you see somebody who you find attractive, and I feel like it's even harder on the side of the street because you know that person is trying to go somewhere, but in the store it might be a little easier. Um, you know, say excuse me, pardon me, miss. Um... 
Don't call, don't say ma, don't say ayo, girl. You know, um, obviously you don't know my name, but there's definitely ways that you could talk to somebody. It would be like if you're trying to um, get somebody to help you in a supermarket. Approach me like that. Act as if you're at, you know, a professional setting and like I'm a coworker and you're not sure what my name is, but you need me to help you with freaking copy and paper or something. You're not going to be like, hey, 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 lady, hey. You're not going to do that. <laughs> You're going to be like, excuse me, can you help me with this or whatever? So I think that's the start. The start is the approach because the approach is the main part of the cat call. You know, the cat, the cat call begins terribly and really that's all it is to it. The cat call is simply trying to get your attention. And then what the guy says after that is on him. A guy could do a cat call, which I feel like all cat calls are... I, maybe it just has a negative connotation, but I think that all cat calls are basically disrespectful. I don't know. Maybe excuse me, miss, is a cat call, but I, I wouldn't consider that a cat call. But, you know, that's the thing that shoots you down in the first place. Because I'm like, this mf -er is sitting here yelling at me on the side of the daggone road, you know, and why, why would I want to take interest in you? So the very first part to look at is how you approach me. Um... And also, if you see me and you have interest in me, I, I don't really, I'm not going to, like, respond to you nicely. If when you see me, you're like, you know, and make stupid faces, stare at me, you're driving down the side of the road, and then you just stick your head out of the car, you're about to crash into, like, five people, run some person over. You know, I don't want to be talked to if you can't control yourself that much. Um, I can see if you're, like, look at me and, you know, like, smile, like, wow, hey, you know. But now if you're just like, just staring at me like a creepy person or that whole like this thing with your hands and licking your lips, I'm not, no, that's not okay. Some people I know are like, oh yeah, I like that so much, but yeah, I, they're, they're not doing so good when it comes to relationships anyways. So maybe that says something, but <laughs> the approach is to approach respectfully. So, you know, smile wave, whatever, and then, excuse me, miss, ma'am, I talk to you, pardon me, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things that you could say, even if it's, I'm in the store saying that, you just come on and be like, hi, um, how are you doing, and then from there, I, you just take it from there, um, you don't say, damn, you're fine, and I want to come over here and talk to you, or, um, hey, baby, you're sexy, or something, you know, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I'm, I'm not a, in a strip club or in a porno or whatever. I, I don't know. I just don't. That's not okay. You can say you caught my eye or um, I just noticed you when you were doing blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to come introduce myself. Or even you can just say, hi, my name is such and such. Um, I was just in the store. I mean, you basically need to find a way to tell me why you came over here to talk to me without jumping right into it, I feel like. Um. Because if you're just like, hi, I'm Bob. What's your name? I'm going to be like, can I help you? Like, what? What do you want? So just be like, obviously, I'm interested in you, but not saying it so that it's rude or um, vile or anything like that. You know, respectfully say that you're interested in me, that you find me attractive, whatever. Um, some people might not even like you coming up and being like, I found you so very attractive. Um, that might make people uncomfortable, but just be like, you caught my eye. Something simple where it's like you're saying that you you think I look good without actually saying it. You know, don't be. It's not rocket science. Um, so the approach and then the first lines, introducing yourself, saying why you came over here, so that I'm not feeling like you're wasting my time. Which in the end, guys, you I might still feel like you wasted my time. But if you're nice and respectful, I'll be like, well, I'm not interested in you, but at least I won't walk away being like, what a douchebag, you know. So um. And then after that, I guess, you know, just take it from there. If I'm like, thank you, you know, and you're like, oh, I just thought you were really, really pretty. Just wanted to come introduce myself. I'll be like, thank you. Um, Maybe I'll say I'm dear. Maybe I'll be like, hey, you're really pretty, too. Here's my number. Whatever. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't do that because I'm in a relationship. But it's not hard. It's just the only thing really it, to make this video short I, obviously it's too late for that now but <laughs> you would say how would I want you to approach me I would just want you to approach me respectfully so um you know I'm not a dog I'm not in the store because you're trying to buy me you know don't just call me over there and be like yo 
you know, have some damn dignity, have some respect for me and for yourself when you do that. And, you know, have respect for you and for the man or woman that you're trying to talk to. Um, Notice that, you know, maybe they're having a bad day and they don't feel like being yelled at. And that not everybody, maybe if you're in a deep relationship with the person, but not everybody finds, like, true happiness in you saying they're fine as hell. You know, um, so just keep all that stuff in mind. It, it's, it shouldn't be hard. It, it, I'm not like I want you to walk up, stand two feet away from me, shake my hand, don't look me in the eye. You know, there's not a list. It's, it's the simplest thing. Really, what I, it's more of what do I not want you to do? I don't want you to yell at me across the freaking street. <laughs> and I want you to use gentle words when speaking to me. Because I feel like sexy versus pretty gentle words, you know? So, um, that's basically all I have for how to approach me or maybe other people can be like, that's exactly how I want to be approached to. So, um, I hope that answered your question, the YouTube user that uh, asked me this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to have my Controversy Talks That Is Bothers Me video this Thursday, and, um, my two-year mark is coming soon, so I'm gonna have a, um, another happy birthday to my hair video up for the two years. Hopefully that'll be up, um, easily because I need to learn, I need to figure out how to put videos onto my movie maker to make that. And, you know, I'll have my pictures and stuff showing, you know, since interlocking before and after, blah, 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 if, um, anybody is new to my channel so yo, you guys can see my hair process and whatnot. Um, and hopefully it'll give some people hope to be like, woo, it started this short and now it's this long. Um, and I actually retwisted it yesterday. So, um, I'm going to have all that up. I might have a lock update up too, not sure. But just stay tuned, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the comments, all the love, all that good stuff. Whether it's good or bad or whatever. Thank you for the subscriptions, blah, blah, blah. So thanks so much and see you guys next time.